But let's bring in Fox 29, Sean Tobin. Sean, we're in the teeth, the heat of the campaign season, and we've got a lots of polls around in town, don't we? Yeah, no doubt, Jeff. And today's weather was ideally made for getting out on the stump for a lot of these political candidates. They came to this end of the state to get their message out. Many of them chose to do it in Philly as well as in the surrounding suburbs. Let's give you the rundown here. Joe Sestak, the Democratic nominee for Pennsylvania Senate, made a campaign stop in Easton, Pennsylvania today. Sestak speaking to a group in Easton about the ongoing loss of American jobs overseas now. Sestak's opponent, Republican Pat Toomey, he spent the day in Philadelphia. Toomey received an endorsement from the governor of Puerto Rico at a Philadelphia charter school. Also, Pat Meehan, the Republican who is battling Democrat Brian Lentz for Pennsylvania's 7th congressional district seat. That's the one being vacated, essentially, by Joe Sestak in his Senate run. Meehan, he appeared in Valley Forge for the Meet the Candidates Fair. And also today, Tom Corbett, the Republican candidate for Pennsylvania governor, he toured a line Lancaster Dairy and Corbett hammering home the importance of the dairy industry and what it means uh, to the Keystone State. But no doubt, Sunday, this coming Sunday, this weekend is uh, in this, the big day in this fall pol political season. Democrats pulling out two of their biggest political guns. Both President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden will together appear to fire up Democratic voters with less than one month left in this campaign season. The president and the vice president will also be stumping for votes for Pennsylvania's Democratic gubernatorial candidate Dan Onorato. Now, in recent polls, both of those Democrats trailing their Republican opponents in the Senate race. Sestak is about nine points behind his opponent, Republican Pat Toomey. And in the governor's race, <clears throat> Onorato uh, around 10 to 12 points behind his opponent, Republican Tom Corbett. So things tightening up here, and they're pulling out the big guns, no doubt, this weekend. And I can guess you're going to see them uh, repeatedly throughout this season, Jeff. Well, we know that in